Hello, I'm Ben Sweet 68 and uh, today I thought we're gonna make some looks at the first tutorial is at our puppets, how to use them, how they function, not how to use them, but how to f they function and what do you have to think about when you're gonna edit your own puppets. It's a lot of videos out there and I've seen a lot, uh, some are good, some are not so good. Uh, I thought I'm gonna make a try to explain it for, well, from beginners level. So if you knew, this could be for you in dreams. I'm Swedish, so I must apologize for my bad language. So try to keep up. Let me know if I said something wrong in the comments. Uh, I'm in VR mode. Why, you ask, is this a VR tutorial? No, it's not. Just that it makes me easier for me to see and react. I, I have last week since VR came along in dreams. I tried to learn VR and so on. So I prefer to do it. This is this not this guide applies to any kinds of dreams making or, or puppet interference puppet interfacing sorry so first of all puppets I don't get to come camera right I think there you go I'm gonna use the DualShock for easier menu it's more like the menu you see in not VR so I prefer to use the moves, but for your sake, I try to use this DualShock in VR. Uh, puppets. Nope. Here you have your regular guide. And the under gadgets. That's stuff you gonna, can use. You have gameplay gear, and there you have the puppets. You have a blank puppet, the looks. You can use from a collection, and you can use just the interface, just the logic chip. But we're not gonna get into the logic uh, in deep. I'm just gonna put down two puppets. This is with the looks, and I'm gonna explain the difference later on. gonna put it there and we can take a blank puppet basic too yeah I'm just gonna just this so they are fairly upright yeah not, not very good Yes. There you have it. Well, what's the difference between the deluxe and the blank? Well, simply put, you have more things in the deluxe, more logic and uh, controllable stuff. Uh, so it just depends on what you're gonna use the puppet for and if you're gonna use it to make a humanoid character in some kind well of course you use the looks because you have more uh, things in them i'm just gonna put out i did a left one space to get that left one uh, square sorry and i'm just gonna show this that it in the interface it's all the same all have all the same stuff involved uh, but the difference is that you have more in in depth things in here uh, i don't know why that wasn't on but the interface is pretty much exact same 
the, it is the exact same. At least that now when I do this. I don't gonna get into what we do or what how you can use them. Uh, there are a lot of good videos about that and so I just thought I'm gonna make a quick tutorial. I hope it's gonna get quick to things you need to know when if you're gonna make an own puppet or use like I gonna you make a cat later on in the tutorial. And what you need to know, what you need the basic knowledge to apply that to a puppet. And why should I make a puppet? You maybe maybe ask. ask. Well, the puppet is the controller character you have. And sure, you can, in theory anyway, make it from scratch. You don't have to use that. You can build it by connectors and logic and stuff. But I have I've tried made that twice because I'm a tech fr freak, and I tried make it, but it's very very hard to get it to work as you wish. They have very put very much thought in media monocle in this, and you have a lot of functions and a lot of automatic and adjustable things in there. So. Even if you're gonna make your own animation, I recommend you start with a puppet. Uh, if you're gonna make your own animation, you probably just need the blank one. Because I can just show you here, they have both have a ship, micro ship, as we call them. And yeah, that's all. So, so, I'm gonna have to. Well, I, I I jump ahead here. Well, how does a, uh, a puppet work? Well, what is a puppet? It is pieces of sculpt, like uh, cylinders, spheres, spheres. So I always say it wrong: sphere and sphere, sphere, but spheres. And stuff like you build anything else in 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 media monocle but it also have that's a one thing i put, putting on one finger i can show it one number one is sculpts the second piece is i have turned on by the way you may not see it like that um, i always jump the gun this is how it normally looks but i use the uh, show and hide and put on connectors and x-ray and x-ray makes you see what's inside a sculpt and the connectors are the third uh, second thing you really need in a puppet and it is, is as I said connectors uh, nothing hard to understand it's like the joints in elbows knees, feet, hands, necks, head, the, the things you turn around. And they are, in standard, they are uh, made for a humanoid. So that's the second thing. It's sculpt and, and it's connectors and there are logic. Um, I'm gonna show you what's that. I don't know where that comes from. Uh, I'm gonna just show the logic. I'm gonna explain what I did there just in a minute. No, not. <laughs> I always do it. Here you see, I can open these two. Come on. No, <laughs> same mistake as ever. Well, uh, that should be, yeah, maybe, yeah. So here you have, that's the right one and that's that one. Well, it looked like this has less things you think. Well, it's not. 
always have like jump animation you see here it's a lot uh, poses uh, follow behavior Come on. and stuff inside so you see this is have a lot more stuff than that one and the difference is basically this um, automatic uh, feel and looks uh, like lean and jump and turn um, things like procedural animation it's called it's happening while you're running and while you're walking and all of that stuff this is a more simple it, it has a walk and a run and a jump but that's it this have more but as I said they have the same same this is the same but you see here you have a lot of tweaks and things you can do and always have much more of that in the deluxe simply put it so even if a same interface these have more things affected by the, the things so no no deeper than that into the logic but that's the three key frameworks sculpt connectors and logic and well if you're gonna make your own puppet what do you have to think about well i can remove that because we keep this uh, well you if you make your own i uh, no, I don't gonna make it. But if you make like a cat or a dog or a, a car or whatever you need. Well, car maybe you don't need this puppet for. But anything you want to control. You can make it from scratch. You can make it this and I can make an exact copy and but it's very complicated and very hard to get it as good as we did in Monaco when we created this. Because one thing in these puppets is that yes, you see some logic. Wrong again. You see you have something you can adjust here and fix and use and reuse or remake. But there are also some things you don't know about the puppet. And it, that is like, what I'm going to take as an example. No, don't do that. Don't do that, I'm sculpting. Do that. Yeah, like you have a sway, you have a lumberness. This is how it, it takes its step and such as of that how you walk and how high you step and all that is and that is not in this logic that in you have they built in in these pieces so you can't really tweak everything in the puppet you can tweak the things they have put in these logic pieces but you can't tweak everything and just the procedural stuff is hidden you can tell or probably hard coded into this uh, group of things so that's the difference between making your own you have to do, if you make your own you have to do all that logic by yourself how it's gonna breathe how it's gonna lean how it's gonna always lumberness how it's gonna work walk uh, and such and that is very you have very things automated here that you can adjust by using the interface so if you are gonna use like a hum humanoid or a dog or a cat or something living i recommend you stay to the puppets and remake them 
Enough about that. Well, what do you need by knowing if you're gonna make your own puppet? Well, first of all, we have a puppet and the three pieces, sculpt, connectors and your logic. But if you're gonna make, let's say we, say we have a make, a, made a cat, I'm just gonna make a sculpt here. It's not a cat. <laughs> Just an example. I have made something here and I want that to be instead of this. I want I don't I want this to be a head. Well what do I need to know? Well as you see this is lots of sculpts so to keep them so you can move them uh, like this together. It's of course a group and a group is also called in media monocle a scope. Levels of groups are called scope. So this is the first scope or first group. It's all, all everything is connected. So if I just want to adjust the head, well, what do you need to know? Well, you have to scope in or group in if you want to call it that. But and I'm just gonna select this to so see the guides. Uh, here you have it, scope in, shortcut L1X. You can also say, and there that's a tweak selected, that's a menu that I showed earlier. That's a tweaks. But scope in, shortcut L1X, or you can press this. I scope in and now you see it's turned to a scope out scope in and scope out it's basically group in and group out but call it scope out if you want it's perfectly good so what's happened when I scope in well now I can see I don't know if you see it good here in but if you see, I pointed it, it's a head. Here's the, uh, all the chest. And here's the arms. Here's the hand. And this is what you use in this mode if you want to change this behavior like this. Just rotating things, move things. Uh, like this. Or that. We call it po poses in, in when it's just a static stance like that. But now, now we can move all the limbs like it's built. So, does that is that enough uh, for me to put this as a head? No, it's a short answer because here you can only move this. You can edit the whole group, the whole head, by using. I made a shortcut there, but if you select it, you're gonna see it here. And I take tweak selected, which in its case is the head, and I get this. Now this this is the properties of the whole head as a group. So here you can change color and stuff like that. If for just for, uh, for the head. Uh, I'm not gonna get into this in this tutorial about the differences and all that in the, the sculpt inside it itself. But just to know, here you can adjust the whole head. So if I put this, I wanna put this on the head. Sure can do that. But remember, now when I'm scoped in, I can only use the things that are in scope, in the group. So, you see, I can make move that. So, we have to scoop, scope, scope out. And I use L1 and circle 
couple times just to know that I scoped out all the way. Now I can use, I can move that and I can move this. So we want to put that on in the head, on the head. Well, you probably saw it there before, but you can either do this. This is two ways you can do it. But let's say you have a made a head you want to use. You put it there. And as you see, and I point at the head, L1 to X, L2 group, which I prefer should actually, because it's in dreams, should say add to scope. But group and scope is the same thing. And this is the head. So I press L1 and X. And now it's the same as the head, you see here. It's not the same, but it's in that scope. Well, it's not really in the head. I, I tricked you there. <laughs> because remember, I said this is where you can move the limbs and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the head, even if I move this now, you see it's well, it's not staying on the head. Yeah, oh no, I got that car camera warning. So it's not really in the head, it's in the whole puppet scope, the whole body now. Because we are bus scoped in once. So what do I have to do? Well, you probably guessed it, but you have to scope into the head. So we continue. And as you see, when I point at the head, L1 add to group. L1 plus X add to group. There you go. Now we did that. Now we let it go. But now we are in the edit mode. Now we are, you see, I can remove the head totally. I can delete it if I want to. But as one point I, I, got, I have to mention, like this, when I did leave it, this. Sure, you can just replace things. But remember, uh, as I said before, there are a lot of things, procedural things, that's coded directly into the puppet. And we have no idea, uh, well, well, we haven't released any documentation about it, what is connected to which part and how. So if I delete the head here, I'm, I'm not tried this, so, so I can't give you the answer. But maybe I remove a follow me behavior. So something goes wrong with the rest of the procedural things. So I recommend if you can replace, uh, replace it and try it. Uh, does it make something thing funny? Go back keep this and make this invisible and just have it there because even if you don't you see it and use it it can still be there uh, but this is a ty type of try to try and see behavior because it's so different and sometimes I have I have tried I, both this and made my own puppet and try to use this and sometimes you replace this or add a thing to this and suddenly you have don't have a mirror uh, thing uh, which is very annoying I can I try to explain I scope out so I can move the limbs nope not that one that one but you also have a mirror plane in the puppet uh, you see it here puppet mirror I think you also can get it if you know you can't. Okay. But if I turn on that and try to move the arms, you see it's got some mirror plane here in the middle. Same here. So it's easier to get it in sync. But if I try to remove this or 
replace it with something else, it's very prob probability that I'm gonna destroy this mirror plane. And sadly, this is one thing in dreams that I haven't really uh, made us. Uh, yeah, mem the mirror plane is something we have to work on because you can't see or adjust. You can see the mirror plane when you edit, but you can't switch. You can't. Oh, it's mirrored here now. No, I want it mirrored here. Well, you can't change that. Have you start made it there? It's stuck there. So, and same thing with the puppets. Uh, there are a trick to try to re re regain the, the mirror plane. But uh, I tried it and it works. Sometimes it don't work. So I don't gonna show it because I'm not sure it it really works. So, but just come keep that in mind. If you replace something, you may dis disrupt or destroy something f functional. So don't go ahead and just do that and do that and do that and do that. And when you try uh, nothing, it don't work. Well. If you have done 10 things, it's very hard to know what thing did go wrong. So it's a try and error kind of thing. But anyway, I got my head. Yeah, you see, now it's stuck to the head. So now if I scope out and play. See? Now I got it on my head. And if I don't want the puppet head, I can make that just that invisible or cover it up, depending on your preferences. But to know the scopes, you have to scope in exactly right to know that. And if you want to add something, as I said, it's a safer way to really do this is to scope in oh I'm still in play mode so is to scope in a third time. Now we are where move first we are totally scoped out. I scope in once now I get to this mode. I scope in once on the head now I'm just in the head group scope But if I do it a third time, you get to this. And that's what's this? This is the edit mode, and that's for the sculpts in self. You remember if I said uh, all the parts are by sphere, spheres and and stuff, and you see it here. One sphere, one cylinder, and another sphere. <coughs> So what I could do if I want to remake the face or add ears or something, this is the right mode to do. And you just, I'm gonna just make some big ears here. So if you add something, that will never disrupt or, uh, well, should not disrupt the function and all this procedural stuff that I told about. So this is the best way to really don't remove the things. Still, remember, we don't know what's connected to what. So don't remove the basic, but you can add or cover up or stuff or invincible, make it invincible. Uh, I'm not sure I can do this, can I? No, in, not in scope, no. If I go out there and no, now I put the ears in. So the problem is if I'm gonna make the head invisible now, my ears gonna be invisible too because it's the same scope. And invincibility or visibility works on groups, so or scopes. So if I make the head now, but if I do this. Get out. And you see, even if it's in the head scope, it's still a, a single. So we should be able to make 
Now I took up a tweak just for the head. Go in there in physics properties. And there you are visible. Now it's not visible. So now if you take play, you see? Now it's totally replaced the head and it's not visible. But I still have uh, all the functions that might or might not be connected to the head. So that's a good way to know. You must know the scopes and, and really know what you have to, if you're gonna make a, or remake a puppet. I'm gonna go to the test mode here. And now you see, well, I know it's the head there, but I don't see it. Well, you can just show and hide. And there you have something preview of invisibility. You can take that away and we see it, but still gonna be invisible when you play mode. So I think we are pretty much done. You have to need uh, to know scopes. That's the most important thing here. Uh, it's three layers, you can say, of groups. First is the whole puppet. Second, the pieces, so you can adjust them like that, and the third, then you're in the sculpt. So if I just, I can put this and on that, and now we should follow that like this. I think you get the picture, but this is the basic you need to know to remake it. And as I said, don't remove. And these connectors, we're gonna see that when I make my cat in the tutorial. Uh, try to use them, them, those uh, connectors that is in the puppet. You can change these. We can, if I. Uh, Try to get to that. I can change this to this. It's gonna look very weird, but yeah, you see, I can change where it should be and stuff. Better to keep those because we those are probably uh, we're not sure. I'm not sure uh, connected to the procedural stuff that you had in the puppet. So better than remove them. But sometimes, and as my in my cat, gonna see later, uh, you have to add stuff, and that's okay. But the problem is adding. Uh, let's see, say, uh, let's say I want uh, another limb here. Well, you, I can put another limb. I can put it between those two. Or I can put it before that and that. But if you, I put that one. Well, remember the mirror, mirror plane I talked about. That gonna mess with that up. But suddenly you have a thing here, and it thinks that the mirror plane is here and it's still there. So you're gonna move things out of the mirror plane. So. Uh, to sum it up, it's it's better to add things. That's the key thing. See? Add things, try not to remove things. Make them invisible or small. You can make this head very, very small instead of make it invisible. Yeah, now it's grouped to that, so kind of scale. Before you do that, you can make it small like that. And it doesn't show. You just cover it up with your scouts, but better to keep it than remove it. Because sure, you think, oh, okay, I removed it and the head worked fine now. Well, maybe remove something here and suddenly this piece and this piece don't work because it was procedurally connected. So it's a try and error, but you get the picture. This is the basic what you need to know to remake or make your own puppets.
at least as a humanoid. I think that's that I gonna show. Just gonna see, yeah, my ears. It's gone there, but just gonna replay here quickly. I don't think it's nothing more. No, but that's what I basically need to know before I step to the next tutorial and add things, so I don't have to start from the beginning. Uh, that was my first tutorial. Uh, like what if you don't, dislike if you don't, like <laughs> and stuff. I'm not gonna be a big YouTuber. I, I have no interest in being famous or anything. I just think this is some basic you need to know before I start next tutorial. Hope you are well and healthy and yeah, it was a siren outside, if you had heard. <laughs> it's not for me, I promise. Have a good one. See you later.